Devila. Popola. Oh, look. You made it. We've been waiting for so long. Why are you doing this? It began 1300 years ago. Humanity, finding itself on the brink of extinction, undertook a last-ditch rescue plan called Project Gestalt. Gestalt? Do you still not remember, Grimoire Vice? Then let's give you a refresher. <laughs> Vice! My... mind... I... I remember... Devola... Popola... You are not human... In fact... Oh no... <laughs> Yeah, sometimes the truth can be a real bitch. You want to finish that thought for him, sister? All of us, every person standing in this room, are mere shells created by the true humans. What are you saying? You still don't get it? You aren't human. So then humans, I mean, the true humans, are extinct? No. They still live on. You know them as shades. Each shade is a twisted remnant of what was once a human being. Crazy, huh? Now let's skip the part where you stand there with your mouths agape and just get down to business. Wait. Wait! Sorry, but we're gonna be needing that shell of yours. The rightful owner has been waiting for a very long time. Please don't be angry with us. We are only doing our duty. Our endless existences have a single purpose. To control the lives of others in accordance with the will of the true humans. You have your own motives. Your own desires. And we have ours. I fear it really is just that simple. Don't speak such foolishness. Sorry. You and us, we're the same. Tools in the hands of a master. No. I'm nothing like you. Devila? 
devil, eh? Popola, are you crying? No, don't die. You know, Popola, I understand now why we're twins. It's because... Because we were born without souls. Devla, I can't stop the bleeding. Oh God, I can't stop it. This world is too... Uh, too lonely for one without a soul. There's too much emptiness. Our souls are missing. And yet somehow our tears still work. It's kind of weird. Sorry, sis. I love you. Devil! Devil! Don't you go! No! No, I can't be alone! For. It'll be all right. Huh? You know, when I was young, I... I hated my eyes. And now that I'm older, I hate what my body has become. But there's something else there now. Something like pride, you know? I mean, without all this, I couldn't have become your friend. Goodbye, my friends. Thank you for everything. Emil! For so long, all I could do was destroy. But now, I have a chance to save something. No! Now get going, okay? Emil! Don't worry about me. I'm gonna be fine. Emil! Emil! <gasps> Emil! You jackass, get back here! Oh dear, Kaine's 
so unstable, and Vice can't stop arguing with people. I hope they can hold it together once I'm gone. Well, I guess they'll just have to learn. you again. Just one more time. <laughs> I'm scared. I don't want to die.
Ends here. Strike hard. Hold nothing back. How can a mere tool hope to stand against the Shadow Lord? Don't speak in such a manner, fool. I am nothing like you.
Brother? Yoda. someone else's body. I don't want it. There's another girl inside this body. I can hear her. She won't stop crying. She says she wants to see her brother. You're just being possessed? This girl loves her brother too, just as much as I do. It's not right, you know? It's not right that she can't see him. The shade that possessed her is gone. Good. Watch over Yoda for me. I want to understand your sadness. Think I'm going to sympathize with you? I swore to protect my sister and my friends. If someone puts them in danger, they must stand aside or be cut down. Now come on, let's finish this! Vice, 
It seems some headstrong idiot has decided to push me beyond my limits. I should have taken that job as a cookbook when I had the chance. Nice. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Only joking. I hate cookbooks. But let's go out of the way. I have one final task to fulfill. Where are you going? Why, to stop him, of course. But after that, it's up to you. Only you can see this battle to its conclusion. I wish you luck, my friend. You can't. I swore I'd always fight by your side. You are an exceedingly stubborn lad. You know that, yes? Perhaps that's why I've so enjoyed our time together. But I fear this is where our journey ends. Vice! Oh, and remember what I told you about using my full name. Well, forget it. I've grown rather fond of Vice. Vice. I knew you'd come around. Don't let it go to your head now. to live! Siona, all right? Oh, God, no. Oh, please, the girl is fine. Vice? Where are you? Are you okay? I am as well as can be, considering I have lost my physical form. Doubtless my voice will be the next to go, so listen closely. Your sister is safe. Do not mourn her, and do not give up hope. Instead, you must call her back to you. How? Use your memories. Recall the times you spent with her. Present her with proof that the two of you live still, and that your lives have meaning. I... I don't know. Typical. But take heart. I know you can do it. What's my favorite food? Cookies. What's my favorite book? That's my magic storybook. What's my favorite place? Home with you. What's my favorite flower? The lunar tear, of course. Okay, one more question. Who do I love more than anyone? Uh. 
Is that you? Yona. Is this my body? Yes, Yona. It's yours and yours alone. You look bigger than before. Like you've grown up. Well, yeah. I guess you haven't seen me for a while. Have I been asleep this whole time? Something like that. It's almost like I'm a princess from some fairy tale. Oh, Yona. I'm so happy to have you back. Me too. <laughs> Kaine. You and your sister. You have a good life, okay? Where are you gonna go? Guess I'll... You could stay with us, you know. Thanks, but I'll pass. You know how it is. I got my own shit to take care of. What do you mean? Personal shit, all right? Anyway, take it easy, yeah? Kaine... Hey! For the longest time, I heard someone telling me how they wanted to see the light. And now, they can finally see it. Sunny today. Yeah, it sure is. 